Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be doing the part 3 of CNC turning program simulation. So this will be the final part about the turning programs In next part we will be starting with milling operations. So let us begin. Write the CNC part program for the following profile. So this is the 11th problem. So here we will be doing threading. Initially we will be doing the turning operation to remove the material. And then we will be moving with threading part. Using a different threading tool. And then later we will be carrying out the grooving operation. So in this problem we will be using three different tools. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to support me. So here in this problem, diameter of the blank is 40 mm and length of the blank is here, working part is 61 and hence we will be considering a total blank length of 70 mm. So thread length is 20 mm and the depth will be calculated as 18.11 mm. So groove will be 6 mm. So let us open the turning part, turning, sorry, CNC turning software and let me type the program quickly. Since in this program we will be having three operations, we will be using three sets of CAN cycles that is G71 for turning, G75 for grooving and G76 for threading operations. So you can compare the program with these tables in order to understand what are the uh, different uh, labelings referred to like P, Q, Z and other labelings. So you can just compare with them and you will understand the values. So in threading part you just need to buy the values because they are going to give the same values. Or in this will uh, this threading part calculation will be explained while in the class while the lectures are teaching. So once the program is written, you have to go for syntax and check for whether there is any error. And here I got an error because I have not mentioned the initial tool that is T0101. So once you once I made that the error will be cleared. And later once the error is done. Uh, we have to enter three different tools for the operation that is one for turning the initial part then for threading and then for grooving operation so let me check the syntax once again now there is no error or warning now go to tool one so here I mentioned first program as turning so for that go to external turn select the fifth one from the last then click on OK. Now click on 2. Second operation mentioned here is threading operation. So that is T0202. So go and click on 2. And then click 2 and then click on assign tool. Now go to here go for external thread go to external thread and click on external thread select the first one and then click on ok now go to third tool here click on assign tool and here go for Ex uh, grooving external grooving in that select external groove and here also select the first tool itself now click on ok and here select from right tool reference from right and then click on ok and now click on ok and now enter the values 70 40 and z value should always be 0 so z value should always be 0 
even if I have not changed in this video you people make sure that it is zero now just click on play and just look how the process will take over Here we can make note that initially the blue color marking can be seen only on the first can cycle that is G71 because the now the turning operation is taking place and when threading will take place it will be blue colored highlight will be seen on threading can cycles and similarly while grooving takes place it will be seen with the grooving operation. While showing the simulation we have to remember that only if you click on the screen the next operation will continue unless it will be, it will be stopped at the first turning operation itself. So we have to go on the to on the specimen and just and then we have to click. So let me quickly show that once again how the complete process takes place. So initial turning will take place and then threading and then finally grooving will happen. So once the operation is completed just save the file and uh, give the correct naming and then proceed to the next problem. So that here we'll be we are in the 12th problem. 12th problem is similar to the 8th or 9th problem which we have solved in the previous video just the starting point has changed a bit so note down the blank dimensions that is the length of the blank and the diameter is 180 here and here we have to note down all the points of points where the coordinate values are changing so we'll be using this under the turning can cycle so let me quickly type the program for the required operation so syntax will remain same and then we'll go with the initial positioning and then the can cycle will start p1 q10 because we'll be numbering n 1 2 can 10 so that is why p1 and q10 then we'll be giving allowances that is u.5 and w.5 so on just go with the program Once the program has been typed completely then go with syntax and then enter the values of blank and then select the tool as external tool fifth one from the last as before in the initial problems and then click on play then just watch that whether the operations are being carried out satisfactorily.
once the required operations have been carried out and just go to file save the file and then click on new pro new new to open or solve the next problem so with problem 13 we'll be entering new concept that is internal turning operation here we'll be doing initially internal drilling to ATMM length and then we'll be carrying out internal internal turning operation to remove the material which is shown here in the screen so initially we'll be given a diameter of 100 mm and a 100 mm length blank and then we have to produce two operation that is drilling and internal turning operation so let me quickly type in the program so here also we'll be uh, typing the program in order uh, using two tools that is we'll be using t001 and t002 so one for drilling operation and one for turning operation so here we'll be using g70 4 for the drilling can cycle and then we'll be using g71 for turning internal turning can cycle compare the program with this table to understand what are the different alphabets which are used here means like p q r etc just compare the program with this table the program is completely written now check uh, check the values for the blank and then assign the tools so here go for drill operation that is tool number one so in drill go for not center drill just drill in that go for twist drill so go for twist drill In twist drill, we have to add, uh, once you select select any of the twist drill, it doesn't matter, and then click on edit geometry. Here we have to give the nose angle as 60 degree, because here we can see that the de uh, depth and is also 20 and uh, depth is 20 mm. So this will uh, make an equal equiangular triangle. Hence we have to give 60 degree nose angle, and the diameter will also be our uh, diameter will be 20 mm here diameter will be 20 mm fluid length and other values actually doesn't matter but give them as 80 it doesn't matter because the tool will move as per the coordinates so here give the values maybe as 80 or 60 mm and here around 100 mm then click on OK. The main values are nose angle should be 60 and diameter should be 20 mm. So click on OK and now go for the second tool. That is internal turning tool. So go for internal turning and go to bore and directly select the first one. And then click on directly select the first one then click on ok and now just play the operation or oh, enter the di uh, length and diameter remember that the z start z should always be zero click on ok now play the video and understand the operation so here we can see that uh, after the drilling has been taken place the internal turning will takes place so we can see that by using can cycle internal turning takes place slowly and once the maximum material has been removed it will produce a complete through cutting in order to create a good surface finish which is the which is done by the allowance part So let the process finish and at the end we can see that it moves through the throughout from last to the starting point to produce a good surface finish.
here we can see that it is producing a final cutting so once the program has been understood completely save the file and open the next program next program is similar to the previous one except that the corners have been now made into fillets so here we'll be using r values at that particular points when we are writing a program under the can cycle so just change the uh, in in points of those place we'll be having two new no, no, two coordinates instead of one and we'll be using the r in order r and uh, g02 or g03 in order to produce the circular interpolation in anti clockwise and or clockwise operation anti clockwise or clockwise so make sure that uh, just go through the program you'll understand so there is an another separate video where i explain only the theory parts of the program without simulation you can go through them and i have told you to take the screenshot so it will be helpful for you people so enter the blank values of previous and then play the simulation enter the tool value tools also as the previous So with this video we'll be ending the CNC turning programs. So in next video I'll be explaining CNC milling operations. If you are not subscribed to my channel I would like you to please subscribe to my channel for more videos related to the topics of mechanical engineering and I have many contents which are other than mechanical but educational videos just grow through them and you can uh, I have also have videos media videos on how learning solidworks autodesk fusion and also autodesk inventor so go through them watch the videos and if you like the videos just click on the like button so in next video we'll be meeting with cnc milling programs part 1 so i hope uh, before that you go through the milling programs theory part and take the screenshots of them so till then thank you for watching this video if you are not subscribed please do subscribe see you guys in the next video